Our third presenter is Arishal Reja, whose presentation is titled Reconstructing the Neural Code for Real World Face Perception. Imagine a game of snakes and ladders with your daughter. How does your brain code for her changing facial expressions as that game unfolds? Would it surprise you that everything we know about face processing comes from lab experiments that recorded brain activity while participants looked at images of random faces on a screen? This is not how we see in real life. We move our eyes. We choose who to look at, when to look, and for how long. But we don't study the brain in the real world because capturing the environment, our behavior in it, and brain activity simultaneously is incredibly difficult. In this work, we overcame those challenges by combining mobile eye tracking with brain recordings from people surgically implanted with electrodes for clinical treatment. Patients who chose to participate in this research wore eye tracking glasses that recorded what they saw and where they looked at each moment over hours of natural interactions with their friends, family, clinicians, and even researchers. We determined all the times they looked at faces by combining eye tracking with computer vision that also distilled all faces into a few numbers from which they could be reconstructed. Then we trained mathematical models to predict these numbers using brain activity alone. And we were able to accurately predict videos of the original faces this way. Eventually, looking at the inner workings of these models revealed the brain's code for facial expressions in real life. So what is it? We found that your brain codes your daughter's expressions as deviations from her resting face. Bigger deviations mean more intense expressions. You're more sensitive to the difference between her forced smile and a relaxed smile than you are to how big the smile is. That's not all. The difference between uh, the margin of error be between in, uh, intensity and uh, type of expression is different, which means your brain's code for facial expressions is oval shaped. There's even more nuance. You're more sensitive to the difference between a coy smile uh, and a resting expression than you are to the same difference between a big smile and an even bigger smile. How do we put this scientific discovery and engineering innovation to good use? Disruptions to face processing make the simplest social communications immensely difficult for people with autism spectrum disorder. Understanding how their brain's code diverges from the baseline may help shape interventions to help them. Separately, our computational techniques can power brain-computer interfaces for vision restoration in people with blindness. There's more, but just these two issues affect over 100 million people worldwide. 